Hi, my name is Steve Gunther. I'm an orthopedic shoulder specialist in Virginia. I've been treating patients with shoulder arthritis for many years. And I found many years ago when I was chief of the shoulder and elbow service at University of California, San Francisco from 1998 to 2002, that there were many patients that had bone loss in addition to having shoulder arthritis in tight joint contractures. When I moved up to the Northern Wine Country in 2003, I took care of many loggers and manual workers who had significant bone loss, and I felt that we needed some better solutions for shoulder replacement surgery in patients with bone loss. The problems encountered with current shoulder replacement models are based upon the fact that the glenoid sits on top of the bony surface. So when the humerus goes up and down and rotates and slides back and forth, it rocks the glenoid loose potentially because it's sitting on the surface as you can see here. This problem is solved with an inset glenoid because the glenoid doesn't sit on the surface. The implant sits partially within the bone like a manhole cover surrounded by a peripheral rim of strong sclerotic bone and our literature shows that this provides up to 40 times increase in glenoid fixation strength. Another advantage of this inset glenoid fixation is that because there's such a strong circumferential rim of cortical bone, you don't need much backside fixation and you can place the implant in deficient bone without much bony support. In the process of developing some new answers to these difficult problems, I met some very smart, very accomplished engineers who had worked in the shoulder medical device industry who were also interested in providing better, simpler, more reliable answers for shoulder placement surgery. A key objective for this project was to improve the efficiency and reproducibility of the glenoid preparation and implantation. The size and bulk of the glenoid reamer was reduced to allow for easier access to the glenoid when compared to traditional instrumentation, which may increase surgical efficiencies. Another design objective was to reduce the quantity of instruments, cases, and trays from an industry-accepted two trays down to one. This was achieved by designing instruments that can be used for multiple applications throughout the surgical procedure. The result is having all general, humeral, and glenoid instruments contained within a single case, improving both case preparation and OR execution efficiencies. New scientific data presented in the literature in the Journal of Shoulder and Elbow Surgery shows that the inset glenoid fixation technique increases the strength of fixation by up to 40 times. The Shoulder Innovations system has been shown to provide excellent long-term results with inset glenoid fixation and it provides reliable, simple techniques for surgeons and provides excellent value for the hospital.